Questions for Serena, please. Um, it was fine. I mean, playing after Rogers, it couldn't get better because he played pretty fast, especially for a men's match, and so that was fine. Congratulations on the win. Thank uh, you. Is there anything you can tell us about the uh, bandage that had been on your wrist? Oh, um, I always have it on. Um, usually I have a a Nike wristband on. Oh, it. over it. Yeah, and so. So nothing unusual. No, I always actually wear it. I just forgot to put my wristband on. Okay. Your dad says you're hurting so badly you should go home. Is he <laughs> exaggerating? No, I mean, he's definitely exaggerating. I'm not, I'm fine. I am feeling really good, and I haven't felt much better. Have you tried to talk Venus out of playing doubles to save her knee at all? Or, or yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll see. I haven't had a chance to talk to her too much. We've been playing a lot of matches, so um, I took care of her son yesterday, Harold. <laughs> I talk to him a lot, but I haven't talked to her enough. Serena, you're the only, t you and Venus are the only top players who play doubles in a Grand Slam. Why do you guys do it? I mean, I have a great partner, and I think she is a great partner, too. So um, it's a no-brainer. It's easy. Playing with her, it's fun. We love getting out there playing doubles. We love to give the fans a little extra. And we have fun. Does it help your singles? Um, I think ultimately, yes. I think ultimately it helps. Uh, so you have to be really fit to do both. When you guys were kids, did you play doubles a lot together? We did play doubles. Um, and that's how I got to play the forehand side, because uh, we played a lot of doubles. And I was weaker, so my dad told me I had to play the forehand. <laughs> and I've been playing it ever since. Serena, never changed. Well, I'm sorry. Did, it looked just from watching you that it, a lot of things were clicking tonight. Um, in your estimation, was it as good as it looked to us? Did you play as well as it looked like you were playing? Um, I don't know. I actually would like to go back and watch the film. I hope I did. I, I mean, I'm always trying to improve. Like I said, time and time again, I'm just insatiable. So. Yeah, I think there's still things that I can do better, and I'm glad that there is because it always means there's higher levels to reach. Was, that, was also maybe was this any sign that you, you played her a couple weeks ago that, that when you have a couple weeks to look at the film and prepare for someone about how much better you can be when it's yeah, it's easier when I've played someone before. I'm you know especially playing her so soon and then really getting a feel for the game and. Um, for her game in particular, so I think it was a lot better. Is that football, uh, get you, you know, talk about that, you know, when uh, you Well, like you had that I traditionally don't foot fault. I'm, I'm, not, I'm sure I did, but um, I, I, I haven't foot fault this year, except for my first round, they called another foot fault on me, but that was um, the, the, the third one in all year, and they, all three have been here, so. I was kind of frustrated because I, I hit a great serve, the best serve I hit in months. And, um, yeah, I was just like, ugh. You gave him quite a stare down there. Well, they do play this song straight out of Compton when I walk out. <laughs> yeah, so um, we never traditionally do foot faults, so we'll have to adjust our feet and go from there. So Serena, what do you think is the key to you being so consistent in serving in pressure situations, <coughs> pressure points and matches where other women struggle? I, I don't really think about it. I just play my game and I play well under pressure, I guess. And I, I don't know if that's something you can buy or you can have or it's, I think it's just innate. Speaking about uh, playing an opponent again, uh, your next opponent is someone you played at the French Open and you had a little bit of an incident with about uh, her being hit or not hit by a ball. She was hit, yes. Uh, you looking forward to this? Yeah, I mean, uh, she plays well. She plays a fun game and she's a tough cookie. She's aggressive, um, another lefty, so it'll be a good match. It, it, it's not on clay, so that'll be interesting to see, but she does everything good. She moves well, she hits well, so. 
So there is a decision to make tomorrow before you play doubles. There is a chance that you might not play. No, we have a doubles match tomorrow, so yeah, we are there. But you said earlier that. that uh, I hadn't talked to Venus. Days. I hadn't talked to Venus about how her knee was doing. I should have elaborated, but I hadn't had a chance to talk to Venus about how her knee was doing or what she had been doing. Can you imagine a circumstance where you would say to Venus, as much as we want to play this doubles, I don't think we should? Yeah, obviously. I'm, I wanted to do the best in singles. I mean, I want to do the best, but I want her to do e the best as well. So if it's that situation, it's that situation. I Is she stubborn about stuff like that? Or will she take your advice? Um, she's really a great competitor. Um, so, well, she all pretty much takes my advice if I offer good advice. I don't traditionally offer good advice, so she doesn't normally take it. Why have you been so good at the Grand Slam, so much better at Grand Slam tournaments than other tournaments over the last year? I don't know. Maybe it pays more. <laughs> my answers are going to get worse from here on out. It's late. <laughs> and I'm tired, so I'm... That wasn't a very good answer, but like I said, I'm trying to pay off my mortgage, so. I should do better than the other if I had won the U.S. Open Series. I tried, though, but I placed, which was, I think, the first time I've placed ever. So maybe next year I'll win. Was it fun having a chef at your house for the chef person? Yeah, it was really fun. Um, you know, he I took a picture with him and my, my two girls, my little dogs, and they, um... <laughs> It was just so cool. He's just so big, and he's holding these little dogs, and it's so funny. I should have put it on some website or something. How would you describe his tennis? Well, how would I describe his tennis? Very um, in need of, <laughs> uh, of practice. <laughs> Can he serve? I mean, he's tall. Well, I don't recall him serving. I don't recall him serving, but we worked on his grunt. Okay. I think that was his strongest point of his game, for sure. Any last questions? Are you rooting for Missy and Carrie to beat him? As Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I wanted them to win, and I told him that. So. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. That was so sleepy.